This video is based on the recent publication by Dr. Keith Johnson of MIT in the International Journal of Astrobiology. We suggest a possible resolution of the Hubble tension crisis, where observations of supernovae and sea fields indicate our essentially flat universe is expanding more rapidly than that deduced from the microwave background radiation emitted by the Big Bang. Cosmic dust, from supernovae explosions, didn't appear until approximately 200 million years after the birth of the first stars. Cosmic dust, coated by amorphous ice, an origin of Rydberg dark matter, explains Hubble tension and its role in dark energy. With the help of cosmic radiation, water nanoclusters are ejected from the amorphous water ice coatings of the cosmic dust. These water nanoclusters are dodecahedrally shaped and have quantum Rydberg electron wave functions extending beyond each cluster. They are the basis for Rydberg dark matter. What about dark energy, which is believed to be responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe? Unfortunately, quantum field theory predicts a dark energy density associated with quantum fluctuations of the vacuum that is too large by 120 orders of magnitude. This is called the vacuum catastrophe. To solve this problem, we first view the vacuum electromagnetic field as a collection of quantized harmonic oscillators of normal mode frequencies, nu sub k, summing over the zero-point energies of each oscillator mode. H is Planck's constant, and C is the velocity of light in a vacuum. This leads to the energy density equation shown here. The wave vector, k, signifies the normal modes of the electromagnetic field that are consistent with the boundary conditions on the quantization volume, v. As v approaches infinity, one obtains the right-hand side of the equation. We can remove the infinity by replacing the upper limit of the integral by a cutoff frequency set by the Planck scale but this still results in a huge vacuum energy by 120 orders of magnitude. If instead, we subtract the energy density, rho sub c, of virtual photons of zero-point vacuum fluctuations captured by ejected water nanoclusters, through the microscopic dynamical Casimir effect, the divergent integral is largely cancelled. New sub C is the cutoff vibrational frequency of the ejected water nanoclusters. This leaves the finite quantity shown to be identified with the dark energy density. For the prominent pentagonal dodecahedral water nanocluster, the cutoff vibrational frequency is approximately 1.7 terahertz. This formula produces the correct small dark energy density and consequently the small cosmological constant. To summarize visually, cosmic water nanoclusters can absorb vibrationally, by the microscopic dynamical Casimir effect, the unwanted high-frequency virtual photons of zero-point energy vacuum fluctuations. Only vacuum fluctuations below the water nanocluster cutoff vibrational frequency are gravitationally active. The net pressure of the system is negative, consistent with dark energy. In the present theory, we have proposed that supernovae produce ice-coated cosmic dust that ejects water nanoclusters, filling space as a quintessent scalar field of dark matter. Like the fifth element of Plato and Aristotle, because cosmic dust ejected water nanoclusters responsible for dark matter and dark energy appear only 200 million years after the, the birth of the first stars, this explains the Hubble tension, namely why the expansion of the universe now is significantly faster than that at the Big Bang. It also leads to a cyclic universe instead of a multiverse derived from inflation theory.